started thinking about lay preaching when I went to, I was part of a church, a quite small church, um, with a part-time minister. And that was one Sunday that um, we were supposed to have a service, and it happens that our superintendent minister was unable to attend the service to lay the service because our husband was taken ill. So I have no option but to take over the service. Uh, for the last six years, um, I've been the West Midlands Synod Lay Preaching Commissioner. My interest in, in the gospel started to grow. So I took the service. People were encouraged and they were amazed as to what happened and started asking me if I want to be a lay preacher. At one time, uh, I was not able to actually stand up and speak to people but God actually speaking through me gave me an encouragement and gave me the words to actually say in the right situation. I love being a lay preacher because it's something that, that, that I really have to do because it combines the various gifts that I have as an early retired music teacher, as a musician and somebody who values the Bible as the Word of God. Yeah, there were, there were a few of us that were doing that in the church, which was encouraging because I, it wasn't like I was the only one doing it. Um, people were very um, encouraging in the congregation. The exciting thing really is, is that we're never quite sure what God has in, for us in store next. I, I led the service. Um, they, they found it very interesting and asked me where. It seems that you are a preacher and you just need to take up a course. I think I felt that I needed something to, I, I was worried that I didn't have enough background, um, but to actually do the training um, I found was really quite exciting for me. There are national courses and there are local courses. It's important I think that you find a way that you can get into it if you believe that it's something God wants you to do. And during the next uh, years of study I managed to develop my knowledge of the Christian faith considerably. I think if, if people are thinking about doing lay preaching it's, it's really good to have a try, even maybe just doing a part of a service, not the whole thing. You start by um, experimenting with taking part in leading worship, in, in leading public prayer, which is very different from private prayer, and, and also sharing in reading the word uh, reading the Bible in church and, and, and sharing something of what that passage says to you at that time in that context. From my home perspective, I look around me as a black and ethnic minority. There are not many of us uh, doing the lay preaching. We need to have more people of my reflection to actually represent the body of Christ. Yeah, I think if, if you want to do this, you need to, be, you need to be thinking about it and praying about it and seeing if it is the right thing for you to do. But also trying to, trying to spread that message, spread the love that God has for you and try and share that with other people and try and give them the real experience that you've got as well um, so that they can come to know God in a better way or in a, in a deeper way perhaps. I love, I love worship and prayer. I love Jesus all the way. And then if that does feel comfortable to you and, uh, and the other people who are supporting you in this decision making process. And almost a bit of excitement about going out and actually telling other people about the Christian faith. Get in touch with your Synod directly through your Synod um, email address, your Synod website. I'm sure that the moderator will be very, very pleased to know that there is a lay preacher on the horizon in the Synod. Thank you.